Okay, folks, Dave Woodard, the man from the East. Uh, that quote is so beautiful, isn't it? Uh, these are the guys that are trying to shut me down. Um, and he slipped up by telling somebody that, and I knew right along all the, all the time, uh, I had the rights all, but uh, he admitted it right there. It's so, it's beautiful, so beautiful. I should play it again. Yeah, they're trying to say that it was given to me, but it was not given to me. I have my own solve. I put it out there. They admitted I was 100% correct. They're just, they're, I, my last video that they shut down, um, it was, it was going pretty good. It had a lot of the, uh, it was ratting the rats out, basically. I was giving you information on all of the people who have infiltrated the Fen community and they've, you can see them in there. You can see them in my videos. I look back at my videos now. Actually, when I go up to my YouTube channel, I'll see nine plus comments. I'll open up the comments, but nothing will be there because they're going way back into my other videos, posting all kinds of crap in there. And you'll see Robert McQuaid, Bo Arrow, um, A Lone Wolf, uh, I'm Hello, Funny Lover. You'll see all those jackasses. It's It's comical. And they say, oh, Dave deletes your comments. Dave deletes this. That post that I just showed you, Bo Arrow was one of the comments in the link, in the whole thread. And he went back in and he deleted it. And even the even SD76 said, I, I don't remember talking to a lone wolf. They have, they are, have infiltrated the Force Fen community so bad that and half of these people don't even know. They're like, hey, how you doing, Bow Arrow? And they have no clue that these guys will destroy you if you find anything that leads towards the truth, which is what they're trying to do to me. So go ahead. Keep throwing your comments up there, you guys. Whatever. I know. I know that the Fen community, there are people who see this. I absolutely know that. That last video I just did about ratting out the rats, there were 400 views in a day. Now that's what they're afraid of. They are afraid this is going to become like people are going to realize, hey, this guy actually has the true solve. And I do. And even though some of the community does not want to agree with it, they do not want to give up their own solve. As I've said, it does not matter to me. I don't really care. The smart people out there are going to see this. And those people, they see some things, but they just pick apart others and they just, they deny it. So about the 20 people who, who reject my solve out of uh, Shiloh's little hound dogs, so wolf pack, there's about 13 to 15 that are his wolf pack. But then there are certain few that just, they, they're never going to get it, but it, they will see eventually. And Shiloh, you know this. You absolutely know, you and I 100% know that this is the actual true solve. It is what Force Men created here. And they still, they still don't get it because they're blindsided, but that's okay. There are, there are people out there, there are groups that are getting together, I'm sure, that are looking at my solve. And they're going, holy shit, every single thing is here that this guy's got it all right. This guy is the guy. This guy is the reason that the force had the gut feeling back in 2017. Everything. Everything right down the line, Shiloh. And they see it. So, there's a couple things I want to touch on here. And, uh, yeah, don't rely on the force friend community. <laughs> okay. Uh, we both know him, right? I already said that. Time to bring in the... Okay. So, as far as our communication back and forth... It's just been you and your little buddies trying to hide what you actually did. I'm not even sure if your family realizes what you what you really did. And then pulled in Jack, which was the mistake of a lifetime. So, Shiloh, between you and I, it's time to bring in the adults, okay? I'm already here. Maybe you should involve somebody that's a little bit more intelligent or... Uh, or more of an adult than you are to start thinking about what we need to do here. Because 
you know, you know, with what you're going to try to put out, the Alona Miami whatever crap of some kind of solve, you guys are trying to come up with something. And people see it. People know that you are delaying everything. And they don't know why. I do, Shiloh. Because you cannot cover up Force Fen's actual true solve, which is here in my videos. So I'll be doing a college challenge at some point. I'll be. This is going to get out, and you know it is. And you guys, the evil in your family or your friends, whoever, they just want to take me out. I know they do. They just want to eliminate anything to do with coming after you. Because you're the one that backed Jack. You're the one that is behind the fraud. Now, this doesn't. This can go a few different ways, Shiloh. Just so you know. I'm not trying to be an asshole here. This is me talking to you like an adult. Just letting you know. A couple of different ways this is going to go. You are going to come forward and say, I did a bad thing. Okay? I did a bad thing and I, I took the treasure chest. Right? That's what you're going to say. You're going you're gonna to end up being known as a fraud. It, no matter how this turns out. Because the true solve is out there. You cannot match the true solve, Shiloh. I'm letting you know right now. And you know that. You, you know that. That's why I get the adults. So they can tell you. And talk some sense into you. Instead of you keep trying to shut this down. It's not going to happen. There's too much information out there. You got one of my videos shut off. I can put it back up. I can take that song out. And then you can try to do your little complaining again. Because you didn't like that video. That had a lot of information that people needed to know. And actually somebody contacted me. Hey, I went to look back at that video. I wanted, wanted to watch it again. And it was gone. I say, yeah, they, uh, they did not like that. That was a lot of information given about you guys and what your plans are. So the over 400 people that already saw that. This is already out there. So if something happens to me, they're, my family, everybody, my friends, my cousins, everybody that knows about this, they're coming after you if anything happens to me. So, so be it. If your, your buddies take me out, you're going down for it. Any way you look at it. So that out of the way, you either go down for fraud and murder or you just go down for fraud. That's not so bad. And then we explained to him that you just got greedy. You found out you got greedy. Whatever, however you want to do it, Shiloh. But no matter what, this is the actual true solve. Whether the few in the Fen community don't see it, don't want to accept it, they don't want to lose their channels, I don't care. I really don't. As I've said before, I'm not here for them. I'm here for the people who want the truth. And I've given it. And all they have to do is look at my videos and, and ask me. Well, actually, if they ask me a, a question about the actual solve, you guys are going to jump right on them and throw a virus in there and change your names and all kinds of shit that you've been doing. That's all you do on my channel. You come in and you harass people who ask like, logical questions. And that's what they want. That's what people that, that come to this community and just check on it want to know. They want to know the truth. Now, whether you bought all these little watchers on K-Pro and Kyle Lazar's channel, that's, that remains to be seen. I don't see how they have that many people following them uh, with some of the things they put out. And some of the other vloggers, I, like they think that your, your grandfather's still alive. It's, uh, you, there's logical things you have to put into play here. And some of them just can't get it through their heads. So I'm not here to pick on any of the Forest Friend community. I wanted their backing. They didn't want to give it. So be it. I said I would do this alone. I will stand up against you, Shiloh. I'm the guy. I am the only, only person in this whole Fen community, in the, actually pretty much in the world, that can validate the actual true solve of Forest Fen. That you are a fraud. I can validate it. I'm the guy. So no matter what, take me out, it's going to go nationwide and people are going to know. Or we can sit down and discuss it like I've asked. So if, if you really, this is kind of a, a turning point, Shiloh. If you really would like to sit down and discuss it, we can do that. And then 
I'll make sure you don't do any jail time. How's that? Isn't that nice of me? You just go down for fraud. You won't do any jail time. We'll, we'll start off there. That's, that's my first offer of your fraud. Okay? So, you can take that and talk to the adults about it. But otherwise, if you want to keep going the way you're going and look even more and more and more like an asshole that you just kept trying to cover it and you, you're coming up with these make-believe solves of stupid things, uh, people are going to see through it, Shiloh. I'm, I'm, I've asked you, I've warned you, I've told you to just do the right thing. And it's, you just don't want to do it. You want to just keep sending your hound dogs after me. But this is going to get to the point where either one of your hound dogs are going to get mad because they can't handle me. That they're going to do something to me. So people are going to know. Either way, I don't even care. I've lived a good full life. I'm coming up on 60 years old. I still feel young. I look young, I think. So I'm, I, I've had a good life. Whatever. You want to take me out? And this whole thing, let everybody else go up against you. Whatever. Be the be a, a chicken shit like Robert McQuaid. Robert McQuaid keeps asking for my titles, telling me he's gonna get them as soon as your solve, your super solve comes out on the Super Bowl that nobody knows about because they're in the emails that you just deleted on the last on the last video. There's so much crap that you guys give and you've given. To let me know that you really are the ones doing the scamming. And I've got all the names. All the names of your little wolf pack crew of dumbasses who keep giving me and feeding me information. Just like Robert did with that little post. And, and you slip up. Because you can't keep up with it. You can't keep up with the lies. So, I am just putting it out there. This has a couple different alternative endings. And it depends on what you want to do with it. Okay? It can, be, it can just be, let's talk it out, work out an agreement, and then and let things fade away, right? Or it's going to get worse. And it's going to get worse. Because that last video that you guys had taken off and taken down, it was popular. And people still wanted to see it. So you know. You know that people know that some kind of fraud has gone on here. So instead of blaming a whole family, Shiloh, just take the heat for it. Take the hit. You did it. I know you did it because you, you're the one that came out and said, you validate. And you're the one who said, I am telling everybody right now, Jack is the true finder just to dispel any conspiracy theories that might appear. And I'm the conspiracy theory that you're worried about. Well, you know what? I've gotten above that level. And I'm here. And I've taken full responsibility. That Force and I had an understanding. That it was supposed to stay between Force and I. When I found that cross that he placed there. And you know that cross was Force Fence. And it's got to be in his paperwork somewhere. That you deleted or shot out or threw away. Whatever. You guys covered it all up. I don't care. His amazing, beautiful solve is in my videos. And I've given it to everybody. Whether they want to look at it or whether they want to accept it or not, I don't care. The smart people out there will know that this is the actual true solve. And that's why I'm pushing this the way I am. Because I know I, I am 100% absolutely freaking pos positive, positive that this is the actual solve. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, Shiloh, right? And you know that. You're at least that smart where you know that this is the solve that can take you down. So you need to decide what you're going to do. Okay? I'll just leave it at that. I'm not even going to go anymore. But if you go more than where you are right now and something happens to me, it's going to be murder included in that fraud. Okay? Either way, but take the hit, man. You're going to have to take the hit. Whether I'm here or whether I'm not. It's taking the fraud hit with me here or taking the fraud and murder if something happens to me. It's that simple. And I know. I put my life on the line here. Because when I, when I explained my whole solve to the, uh, to the TV place in Lemonster, 
they wanted to do it, but then they looked into your family and they got scared to do an interview. So other people aren't going to be that scared, Shiloh. People will go up against you. The, the people that know the actual truth will go up against you. And I'm at the top of the pack. I'm not backing down and you know that. You know that I'm the guy. So we're either at a standstill where things are going to start shifting either way. And I don't believe they're going to shift in your way because of the smart people out there. Not because of the 20 people and 15 of them are your little scam wolf pack. So you need to really, really start thinking about what your next move is. And hopefully it's a smart one. But you're going to either have to put somebody up there to take the hit for you on the fraud somehow or you're at the top of the fraud. Because you're the one that Forrest Fenn would have told where the actual final resting place was. And you don't have a solve in Wyoming. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell everybody that right now. There is no solve in Wyoming. There was a solve. It was in Palisade Sill, New Mexico. At Cimarron Canyon. Everything is answered there, folks. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at the videos. You need to... If you have any doubt... I've asked for questions. I've answered questions. People get mad at some of the responses. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you get mad at it or not. This was solved because of one person figuring out, as Forrest Fenn said, he figured out the poem, he figured out the clues, and it led him directly to the treasure location. Okay? Bottom line, that's how this was solved. And that was me. Okay? that's We got that out of the way. Okay, just a little bit of added info here. Um, Shiloh. Just, uh, I've already sent a four-page letter with all of my information in, uh, in the videos to a uh, one of the top guys in New England here for crime-related news. So, if something happens to me, he already has it all. And my family's going to contact him. And then, it's all going to get exposed. Either way. I just needed to protect myself. Uh, because I know. I know that some of your friends can't be trusted. I know I haven't been taken out already. So, I know you guys don't want to get to that level of taking somebody out. But if it happens, Shiloh, you were the guy going down. You're the guy going down for it. Even if you're one of your buddies do it, you're the guy that's going to go down for it because you have the motive. And when people look into it, that's why I'm specifying this to you. So you know, you understand that you're the top guy. You are the guy that is in charge of everything related for Sven. Now. You're the guy that's going to come and say, well, what's the real solve? If this guy said he had the real solve, now all of a sudden he gets murdered. What's the real solve now? It's all going to come out. It's all going to have to come out. You decide on the route you want to take, okay? I've covered my bases. There's a lot of people who know, who really, really know. Because when you break it down, Shiloh, and not that I need to go through the whole solve again, but I have the actual map. And I've given it out, okay, from poem to map, the short version. That's out there. That actual true map of how to get to, to Palisade Cell is, is perfect. It's beautiful. Everything's there. All the connections. So that's there. The map is there. The actual nine clues are there. It's not something you are going to change like you said you would change. You could give. It's so simple a child could have solved it. That's what you guys said. But you've said a lot of different stuff. So it doesn't, it, none, none of it makes sense to people. Because you're making it up as it goes. That's the problem. You, it has to be a point where you finally go, I've got to come clean. I've got to, I've got to admit what really happened. And I know, I've pushed you before. But we're at a turning point now. Because the people... That just watched that video that you guys wanted down because that had a lot of information in there and you know it did. So those people, there's people out there that want to know. There's still 
the other ones, like I said, your buddies and uh, a few other of your buddies' buddies. But either way, we're at a turning point. I'm standing up to you. And your decision on what you do next is going to kind of steer what happens next. I like to bust balls. I'm, I like to be a funny guy. That's why my videos, I have a lot of funny stuff about you guys. Because I can. I'm not slandering yet. You haven't proved me wrong. Robert, he's back again. You slapped his pee, -pee for like three days. Uh, he hasn't been anywhere on the on my posts. But all of a sudden, he shows up again. So he must have got back in your good graces because he got mad at me. and Or you just said, okay, go ahead. Just don't screw up this time. Whatever. I don't know what the reason why Robert's back. He's probably going to be asking me for my titles again. I've asked him for his, but he won't offer it. There's a give and take, you know. When I offer my truck, and I'll keep making the payments. And when I offer my house, and I'll keep making the payments. If you prove me wrong, that's all. I was not bothering you guys. I just said, prove me wrong. But your hound dogs wanted to come in on me. So that's when I started coming after you. Right? Because other than that, I just put a, a nice video asking you guys way back. Eight months ago, I said, hey... You know, you should come out with the truth. Just, and let's all be friends about this. That's all. But you didn't want to. You just wanted to throw your hound dogs and think you could just keep getting away with it. So the truth is out, Shiloh. And you you can't hide it. You know it. So whatever you decide to tell folks about this that's going on, you better have one hell of a solve behind it, um, which I know you don't. I know you can't come up with something somewhere else that has everything in his book. You guys are trying to go by some document and somebody's birthday because their birthday is the same date as the old document. Uh, it's it's so silly, so silly. Just think it, think really think it out, okay? Uh, I'm this is kind of going to be the last chance because I I am I'm getting frustrated that you treat the people who want to know stuff out there, that want to learn information, you treat them like crap. That's what bothers me. Because I want the truth out there, and I've been asking, and I get harassed, so I get these creative ideas of how to bring out a little pissed offness in you guys. And it's working. <laughs> it worked on that last video, right? You guys didn't like that last video. Come on, it was beautiful. There's so many people that like it. I hope they give me the thumbs up, because that video, that video... It had so much information in there of what you guys have been giving out to me from trying to shut me down by giving me information of what you're going to put out as this Super Bowl solve. It's... Do you want me to apologize for calling you dummies as many times as I did? It was. It's creative. It's funny. That's what I want to see. That's what Forrest Fenn did. His solve is amazing, genius, funny... And you're going to say Jack wandered the woods for 25 days because he heard where Forrest Fenn passed away and then found a broken blaze and then found a fake blaze. But the pictures, you guys, you're in, you're in way over your head. You are. You really are. You're in over your head. And the guy who solved it is going to take you down. So these are, these are, this is pretty much my last warning. If you don't want to do any jail time, let's square this away, okay? That's what I'm asking. Just square it away because you need to talk to some adults who are going to tell you we need to square this away. We need to get put it all behind us and move on with our lives and admit what happened. And if you're going to go the evil route, you will, you will end up paying dearly for it by everybody else that's still here because I'll be sleeping. I have no doubt, Shiloh. No doubts. That's why, I, that's why I'm here. So, anyways, I should probably end this video. I don't want to, I don't want to, I, I wanted to do more funny things on it. But I'm just going to put out information now. So you guys don't get me for copyrights on Robert's song that I put in that other video that nobody really picked up on. But that's how you nabbed me. Just by, hey, 
Copyrights. Let's get him for copyright infringement for Robert McQuaid's lovely song. The song is nice. It's a nice song. I thought it was a plug for you, man. How's that? I won't even say it on here. But the people who hopefully who downloaded that, that video uh, can just play it back and maybe give some other people some information on it. The guy was getting a lot of a lot of hits on it. So anyways. To all my fans out there, Funny Lover gets upset that I ha think I have fans. And I know I do. I, there are people who know that I'm right. And they watch, and they learn, and they see what happens. But they're waiting on you, Shiloh. But all my fans, I thank you very much for watching. I thank you for subscribing. Even though I only have 147 subscribers... I get over 400 views within a day or a couple days. So that tells you, either you guys have control over my, my... I know you do, because you've gone in and changed all the different quotes. I went back to look at the quotes where where Mr. Robert McQuaid admitted me having the actual true salt is gone. And uh, that's... So I have that screenshot of it. And... SD76 is a validated, you guys, you guys, if you want to keep coming at me and, and, and screwing up, I don't have a problem with it because whatever I say is going to be the truth. Whatever your guys that you haven't told the actual truth to don't know, all they know is this, this solve that you're trying to come up with. If they even know it, you're, you're, you're weighing over your head. Okay. But again, this is the last chance I'm, I'm offering peaceably. Okay? Just so you know that I'm not a total asshole, even though I may look like it to everybody else right now. When they realize the only reason I'm doing this is because it is the actual true soul, that's why. It's not because I'm a real asshole. It's because I'm defending my honor, Forrest Fenn's honor, and everybody else that got the treasure chest taken from them early by someone who Forrest Fenn trusted. And I will take that to the grave. Early or later. Doesn't matter. But my information's out there on why, how, how, why, and everything else. And then you're going to have to do the answering after whatever you decide to do. Alright? It's that simple. Alright. Everybody else, have a great night. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Follow. Pass this around. This is uh, this is me doing the actual last last call out to Shiloh. I don't need to sue because there's going to be people who are going to step up at some point when the right people look at this this actual solve. You, if you want to respond, you are going to make yourself look silly by discrediting Forrest Fenn's actual solve. If you want to look into the whole thing, watch the videos. And again, like I said, I should put out a video that says to uh, a college challenge where a group of college people get together and they look at every video of mine and they, they take every single hint of Forrest Fenn's poem and clues in the, in the poem and in the books and the quotes and it's all answered in my videos. All of it. The only thing I didn't answer. Okay, see, this is, this is my honesty coming out. The bananas. Grab as many bananas on the way by as you can. Now, I'm not sure how that fits into Cimarron Canyon. I don't think there's a banana tree up there. But there might be something in along and in the people that know Cimarron that have looked around. Maybe there's something up there that from Agua Peak down through Angel Fire I just talked to Shy Guy about the, the clomping in the boot. I was like Oh, you know what? I knew I in my other video I said about him skiing um, because of Agua Fria Peak. It's a ski ski area. Uh, Angel Fire Resort. Perfect. It's It looks like a ski pole when he's on a two-fighter walk. The front cover. Then, Shy Guy mentioned about the clomp of a boot. I'm waiting for the clomp of a boot. What do you do when you put your ski boot in? You tip your toe right into the boot and then clomp it down right on the ski. Works perfect. And I, I didn't know about the clomping. So that fits amazing again. But it just fits in there where it's supposed to be. So 
Look for something with bananas across that whole route from Agua Fria Peak, down through Angel Fire, across through Eagle's Nest, down into um, Palisades Hill. There must be something there. Maybe one of the, uh, the stops along the way. The, uh, the, the mine, there's um, a mine along that way. Uh, horseshoe mine. And there's a lot of things. This Blackjack Campground. Tolby. Maybe there's something to do with Tolby. Or maybe Tolby is bananas. Who knows? But look it up. That's that information. That's the only thing I haven't solved. Everything else I can answer. And, and it fits in. And it's all in order. The nine clues. So look at it. Before you want to judge and throw your crap out there like these ding-dongs do, you might want to really do your investigating. Because this solve is the actual solve that's going to go down in history as Forrest Fang's solve. I'll tell you that right now. I have no doubt, 100%. But it's just going to take time for people to actually look at it and understand that. So, to all my friends, all my fans, thank you. Have a great night. I am Dave Woodard, the man from the East that has solved Forrest Fang's treasure hunt. Have a great night.